Hello, I am Dr. Satish Babu, Senior Consultant, ENT Head and Neck Surgeon, working with the Apollo Hospitals, Bangalore. Swelling of lymph nodes in and around the ear region or the upper part of the neck can happen uh, due to a variety of reasons. Um, something as simple as your scalp infections, dandruff, pimples, uh, you know, any small pimples happening even in the pinna uh, ear for that matter. Uh, can induce small uh, lymph nodes happening there. Eyelash, uh, you know, eye, eyelid uh, infections, sty. Uh, even sometimes if a person uh, does threading or some cosmetic treatment, it can induce a local uh, inflammation, infection and reaction wherein the, the regional lymph node will swell up, right? As far as it is uh, inert, that means it is not growing progressively or it is not becoming too painful, you don't really need to uh, worry too much about it. Just keep a watch on the size of the uh, lymph node and uh, maybe the tenderness. That means if you touch, if it is, it becomes painful, then you should, um, you know, assess the uh, amount of tenderness that is there. So in any case of acute infection or uh, pimples, that kind of things, definitely uh, it will be tender. So if you treat the basic issue or if, if the furuncal or uh, the pimple breaks and the infection is uh, over, then the lymph node also will slowly regress over the next uh, couple of weeks. Even if the local infection goes away um, or if you get it treated, antibiotics and all that, uh, still the lymph nodes take a little longer than the local infection to subside and probably in, in about two weeks you will see that the, the size is considerably reduced. Uh, where on the other hand, if you notice a node uh, which is uh, kind of progressively increasing in size, or um, initially when it, uh, when it was smaller, it was moving about freely, then slowly it is becoming a little uh, restricted in its movement. Uh, then, uh, or if it becomes progressively painful, then uh, it has to be investigated upon. See what is the cause of this thing, where is the primary uh, infection is there. Then based on that, we can do a treatment. The only other problem that can be mistaken for a lymph node is uh, what we call a preauricular sinus. That means uh, there is a small birth defect wherein a small balloon of skin is buried under the normal uh, skin of the ear. That uh, will have a small opening in the tragus region or the front of the uh, ear. And uh, most of the times when you try to squeeze that swelling, you might see some white material, cheesy material coming out of the hole. That confirms the presence of a preauricular sinus. And if that is the case, then the only treatment available for that is to get that balloon of skin removed entirely including the hole, the entrance, and uh, then uh, the problem will subside. So this has to be differentiated from uh, preauricular lymph node and based on the cause, again the treatment varies.